Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by AppliancePideo.com. Okay, uh, what we have is a Kenmore side-by-side -side refrigerator. Uh, customer's complaint is that it's leaking. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, we turn the water back on to the unit. Uh, we're just going to call for some water through the door. Check our water pressure. And let it run for a couple minutes here. Uh, looks like this is probably built by Frigid Air. So they've said they've had some ice maker issues. What I'm going to do is open the door, depress the light switch, and call for water. And what I'm looking for is to see if when we're calling for water through the door, if water is going into the ice maker. Um, there is a diode kit on the back by the valve that sometimes if that diode goes bad, uh, it'll actually energize the solenoid for the ice maker when you're calling for water through the door. It can cause the ice maker to overfill, uh, but it doesn't look like it's filling like that. So doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So now at this point we're going to go ahead and pull the unit out and get a look behind it, check the valve and all the fittings. All right, well we pulled the refrigerator out. Uh, we do see a little bit of water back here on the floor. Uh, what we're going to do is we kind of check the line, you know, run your hand up the line, make sure you don't have any pinhole leaks in the actual water line, which I don't feel any here. So now we're going to pull the back cover off, just quarter inch screws and get a look at the lines and check the valve out. Can't really visually see much right now. All right, uh, we've checked all of our lines down below. Uh, don't see any leaks down there, so we've kind of moved on to the actual fill tube of the ice maker. Uh, we can see some residual water that's been dripping down here by where the fill tube is at. Uh, so what we're going to do is just remove the quick connect and uh, twist it about a quarter turn. Pull this little seal off here, a little foam gasket. And uh, this kind of locks into place. So just turn it about a quarter of a turn and pull straight out. And uh, what we're assuming is happening is the cold air is seeping out around here and uh, causing condensation, causing it to drip down because we just ran the ice maker with it all hooked up and checked the connector here and we don't see any water leaking when the ice maker fills. So we're going to just use a little bit of food safe silicone. and. Uh, sort of seal this up a little bit better uh, just to make sure that no cold air is seeping up through here. All right, what we're going to do is basically just use a paper towel, dry off uh, the opening here, make sure it's clean, free of any dirt, debris. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a, a small bead of the silicone and just run it right around fill tube here just like that push it in and lock it into place and it will be much harder to remove this if you ever had to remove it but with silicone it is pliable so you would just probably get a pair of needle nose pliers on there and kind of rock it back and forth if you have to. But we've got a, a very good seal around the inside here now. And uh, that should be pretty much airtight. Okay, we're just doing kind of a visual inspection here. Make sure we've got no seams. We didn't miss any spots here. You could sort of run run your finger around it just sort of push push the silicone down and this is like a food grade silicone so it's not it's a non-toxic silicone and we're gonna go ahead and put this little gasket back up on here 
pull our fitting back up. I'm just going to remove this tape just to give a little, little less tension on this fitting here. Like a razor blade. <laughs> Second time, I'll cut my <laughs> Okay, we're gonna tighten the fitting up. Tape it back down again, and there's just a little bit more play on it now. Okay, and that should complete the repair. Thanks for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com.